Hi there, I'm Alexey, a product manager at Pandadoc, and in this video we will take a look at Pandadoc webhooks. Webhook is just an easy way for you to receive some notification when documents are changed inside your Pandadoc account. Let's take a look a bit closer. We are starting as usual at developerspandadoc.com, our site about API and webhooks, and here we can easily find webhook section. Just click here and find the documentation. We are getting an example of what you will get when you will set up webhooks on your account, as well as other information. But let's just check how it works, actually. So we're going to our Pandadoc account, settings, integrations, and finding webhooks. You need to enable them, click webhooks, and then we're just creating a new one. I will use just name test, and now we need webhook endpoint URL. To get one, I will use a service which is called webhook site. So it just easily gives you an ability to check your webhooks. I'm just copying this URL, inserting it here. Now we have two more sections. One uh, just shows what information do we uh, will we receive in uh, actual request. So for example, we can disable something here and we just won't get this information. So if I'm not using metadata, I, I can just disable it. But just for the sake of example, I will enable everything. And the same goes to events. You can uh, choose what events will cause webhooks to fire. When document changes status, when recipient completes a document, when someone edits a completed document and it becomes draft, and one document is deleted. So pretty simple here. Webhook is enabled by default, so I just need to save it. And now I just need to create a new document. Let it be this one. And it doesn't matter uh, what the document I will use. So we are going to this webhook tester and see that, yeah, actually we just got a request. But the data is not very pretty here, so we'll just copy it and use another service, which is called JSON Pretty Print, to insert it here and get it in more pretty way. So here we can see that we are talking about documents that is in document trust state with the name full template, who are recipients and basically all the information that we will, may want to know about this document. Fields, tokens, products, pricing tables, and so on and so forth. And as well, at the very end, we have this event, which basically depicts what exact uh, event caused this webhook to fire. In this particular uh, case document just became draft. We had no document, and now we have a document in draft state, and basically document state change event was fired. So we've just got it. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the last part that we should take a look at is webhook verification. When you're making calls to public API, you're providing access token. So in that way, Pandadoc knows that you, you are who you are. But basically, you may want to have the very same stuff when we are calling you via webhook call. In that case, we are using signature at the very end of the request that we are sending to you. We are just generating it pretty easily by generating a hash of the request body. To show it, I will use another service, which is called FreeFormatter. I need to select proper algorithm here, the same that is stated in our documentation. Oops, it was a wrong one. This is correct one. Now I need secret key and basically the body of the request. Uh, how can we check this one? We can go back to our settings, integrations, webhooks, find the hook that we've created. And here is a secret key. I will just copy it and insert it here. And now we are returning here where we've got our response. I'm just copying it and inserting it here. And as a result, I'm getting this uh, HMAC. And if I will return to the webhook tester site, I can see this part of this URL. Let me just copy it one more time. And here it is. So we can see that the signature is exactly the same. So basically it means that you've got the request uh, that was sent from Pandadoc and 
which was generated using secret keys that you can see in your account. So basically that's it. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Bye-bye.